All right, good morning. Daily vlogs and boogies are completed. Daily vlogs, day number four, I think. Honestly, I thought this was going to be way harder. It's really not. It's not hard at all to pull out my phone, like, uh, cause I'm just filming on my fucking telephone, bro. Dude. Um, but yeah, I, if you guys can't tell already, caffeine has been injected into the veins. Um, I need to brush my teeth cause they feel disgusting. Um, it's seven right now. I think I would like to go for the walk. <laughs> he heard it. Wow, yeah. Tail banger. That's a nice shirt. He didn't even hear me. Wow, so rude. Um, but anyways, I think I would like to go for the walk. Um, get it out the way with the booger baby. Today we have not much going on, okay? Um, obviously going to be trading today. Federal Chairman Powell speaks today, but uh, he speaks at like 12. So I didn't take a trade yesterday. Market looked like shit. Um, it had a huge sell off during pre market. There was really nothing to do, but we killed it on Monday with our trade. Um, and I'm trying to think. We're going to trade Mastermind again today. We're going to be going over some trading concepts today in the Mastermind. And then, obviously, hit the gym in between trading, mastermind, and I don't have any calls today. I still could definitely be getting uh, some tax shit done. So maybe I do that. Um, and then, maybe we go to the beach today. I actually have a pretty chill day. This is when financial freedom pays off. When you don't have much to do for the day, that's when you can start doing shit. Uh, most of the time my days are really fucking busy, but with that being said, I actually think I'm going to film a trading transformation video right now because I'm fired up and I'm awake. I just want to brush my teeth first and then we will, oh man, Boogie looks so sad. He really wanted to go on that walk. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm going to brush my teeth first and then Ooh. film YouTube videos because I'm fired up and I have a shit ton of time. There you go. All right, guys. We are about to lock in. <laughs> All right, so I was just doing some crypto work for my own personal gain. No videos being recorded on it. Just working on my on my skill, on my craft, and don't mind the fucking trend lines. If you guys know anything about crypto, you guys know I trade crypto differently than I trade the S&P and SPX, but something that is super exciting, I just got news that my running shoes that I ordered, wait, hold on, how can I make it so, I can't show it to you so you guys can, I don't know, like see my freaking address, but, um, my running shoes are getting delivered today. So if they end up getting delivered, then I think I'll have to take those bad boys out for a little run, a little test run, and I'll rate the shoes one out of 10. But this has been a long time coming because I've just been running in like new balances and it hurts my feet really fucking bad. I haven't had like any proper running shoes before and I think it'll help a lot because my knees hurt really bad after I run and my feet hurt really bad after I run so hopefully this changes the game for me I'm hoping and praying that it does um but yeah about to film the trading transformation uh just finished up looking at crypto uh today is April 3rd and if you guys know April 2nd we took a big ass dump on Bitcoin, alts are down heavy um, besides AI. Uh, so yeah, anyways, we're locking in, we're ready to rock, and I'm excited to see, ouch, what crypto has in store for us to see if we get a little bounce here because Bitcoin is down from highs 
just around 10%, nothing major. ETH is down pretty heavy though, around 18%. And then the total crypto altcoin market cap is down a decent a bit, decent bit as well. Honestly, I would like to see it drop even more so I can load up even more. Uh, but like an extra 200 something bands in, that would be pretty fucking nice. But anyways, that's what we got going on right now. I'll see you guys on the trading transformation. <laughs> Get it? Because you guys watch all my YouTube videos, please. All right, guys, I just finished up filming another trading transformation video. Jeez, my TikTok's ready. <laughs> I just finished up filming another trading transformation video and just got off the phone with the co-founder of the prop firm um, just to do a bunch of updates. Again, as you guys know, the prop space, um, there's just been a bunch of things going on. Companies going down, not one of one funding. Companies not paying people out, not one of one funding. Um, companies not being able to find the right platforms. And currently, again, it's a slow and really annoying process because we want to get all these things integrated for you guys, but we're working with a bunch of new brokers, a bunch of new platforms to help, hopefully make the best trading experience for you guys as prop firm traders. Because again, we're the only firm that gives 100% payouts. We know that you guys wanna work with us. And obviously we're up, we're up and running right now. It's a little bit difficult. Um, because we're only working with one platform, but the game plan and the goal is to implement several different platforms, have several different brokers, have literally just as many options as possible for you guys as traders. So you guys can choose, okay, I wanna work with this platform, I wanna trade on this platform, I wanna use this brokerage, and then have a seamless trading experience while getting 100% of the payouts that you guys deserve after passing those challenges. So. Finish up the trading transformation. I'm about to go film another YouTube video outside with the big dog camera. I'm on my phone right now. Um, and we're gonna be talking about my monthly expenses, why I spend a certain amount of money every single month on you know, a bunch of things, car payments, food, investments. So you guys will probably see that video. I don't know when, but maybe it's before this one, maybe it's after. But regardless, keep your eyes out for it, all right? Behind the scenes with TJR's TikTok. In way too deep in crypto, similar to me. But two, you might need leverage. And as you guys know, we always say no, no to leverage. No, no, we do not like the leverage. Okay, because if you guys are leveraged, you guys are going to have sleepless nights thinking, oh my God, am I going to get liquidated? When your alts go down versus if you're just holding in spot, nothing can happen to your coins besides it literally just going down. And that's okay for now because we're in a bull run. What's going on with Bitcoin? Flash crash. Did I do a good job, guys? That I, that, guys, this is all I do all day. I just film videos. I'm filming videos on this phone, I'm filming videos on this phone, and I'm filming videos on this camera. Just videos all day long. I don't even, I don't even have a life. Just kidding. I'm about to trade. Just filmed another trading transformation. Got upload strategy creation part four. Bang, bang, boom. Sniper gang, Kodak, okay. And boys, I leave for March Madness. Wait, dress it up and make a rest up. Start us on the dance floor. Have a dance in the map. You know, that future song. Oh my God, guys, I just had the best idea for the March Madness vlog. It's just going to be the the future song just playing on repeat. Dress it up and make a dance floor. Have a dance floor. Dance floor. Dance floor. Dance floor. Dance floor. You know that song? March Madness by Future. We're definitely having that bitch playing on repeat. But anyways, I'm about to get trading. We'll see if I can take a trade today. Um, and then we'll head to the gym, then get the mastermind popping, and then try and head to the beach. All right? All right. Say what's up to the vlog, Jits. Okay, or not, there we go. We're trading right now. Powell speaks in like, an hour and 20 minutes, and we're just in here thoughting and bopping. We had a big ass leg up from ISM services or prices. Jeez. Um, but anyways, trading's going well. Haven't taken a trade yet. If I take a trade, I'll keep the vlog ski updated. I won't keep you guys updated because we don't do signals out here, all right? Finished up trading, never ended up taking a trade. 
Uh, news came out, ended up fucking up the market severely, and Powell speaks. Sorry, I'm crafting a pre-workout sh shit right now. Um, and Powell speaks in like an hour, so I'm going to keep my eyes on the charts still during the gym to see if there's anything to take, but I kind of doubt it, especially because Powell steps on stage in like two hours or like an hour and a half so that being said i'm going to craft my shel shelf craft myself a little pre-workout and then we're gonna go ahead and head on over to the fucking gym all right santa cruz medicinals not a sponsor i should be though really should be you guys should buy oh, shit you guys could buy some you guys should be buying some of this shit because it makes me this is what i take every single morning before coffee this wakes me up more than the coffee low-key take a full glass of santa cruz medicinals he'll have you feeling correct all right but anyways it's leg day today so i gotta focus the fuck up respawn rip it all right boys i'll see you guys either in the gym or after or during the mastermind whenever i guys see whenever i see you guys next all right boys my running shoes came we got the saucony speed fours allegedly these shits are super fire um i want to try them on and use them wow they feel super lightweight not like fucking bricks not like the shits that i'm wearing right now wow this shit's literally made out of like styrofoam i could literally rip this shit apart but yeah let me know if this was a good choice saucony speed fours we'll do a speed test in them later today i guess pretty smooth not bad this was the only colorway that they had in puerto rico and i wanted them quick so there we go now we're gonna go to the gym all right boys we finished up at the gym i hit legs it sucked i have my hair in a ponytail and i look about it look at that blubber face fucking fat fuck fuck ah, ah, ah! i'm gonna rip it off i want to rip it i'm gonna cut my cheek cheeks off i hate it and that's how you know i'm motivated when i hate it i want to rip it off anyways we're picking up food and then we or i have to eat the food and then after that, we're gonna get on call with the mastermind. And then after that, I'm gonna go to the beach and do like infinite amount of runs on the beach. Food has arrived. So that's the game plan. All right, we're gonna crush food, get on the mastermind, then go to the beach. All right guys, so we just finished steak and eggs and Boogie has been waiting. Just kidding, he just started waiting because I told him to sit and lay down for a nice little bite as he has been sniffing this. This is literally just all fat. Do you think you've been a good boy, Boogie? Do you think you deserve this? I see you licking your lips. Do you think you deserve this, Boogie? Drop in the comments if you think Boogie deserves this. Okay, there you go, buddy. Go crazy on it. And Mastermind is about to start in like 10 minutes, so I'm about to go back in there. You guys can say what's up to the mastermind jits and we'll get started and then head to the beach. All right, just finished up the mastermind call. Going to put on a shirt and run to the beach so we can take advantage of the bomb ass weather that we're having. And I really need to pee, but I'm holding it so that I can pee in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Boogie, the best is of boys. I'm not that baggy, I'm not that baggy. But yeah. Let's go to the beach, beach. Let's go get away. I, I, I just wanna be gay. Damn, tarp's already off. <laughs> Gotta soak up the sun, bro. Damn. Hi guys, we made it to the beach. Whipped the can am over here. Felt really fucking good to feel the wind in my hair and shit um but we're going to soak up some sun and then 
I'm not really sure what after that. Probably get some bomb ass food and then snuggle right into bed at an early hour, like the good boys that we are. So, we are going to go enjoy the beach. We'll show you guys what's going on over there. And then we'll get back at a reasonable hour, get some food, and then go to bed, tuck ourselves in. This is like one of the, this these are the days where they talk about financial freedom. We're like, yeah, I worked my ass off the past couple days where you guys saw me like burning my eyes out looking at the screen, but a day like today, I can kind of chill out, chill on the beach. I'll probably still work on my phone <laughs> um, on the beach just because I'm a hard ass, but still, at least I get a change of scenery not being in my fucking cave. So let's go to the beach. All right, guys, we finished up at the beach. We had a little snack there. No wonder I'm fucking fat. Um, about to go back home, shower, um, probably film another trading transformation video. And yeah, honestly, just film a shit ton of TikToks. I don't really have much else to do today. I got some color at the beach though. That was pretty solid. All right, guys, we're back home. Um, not gonna lie, I'm really freaking tired. We're gonna go to dinner in like 50 minutes. Um, so I'm not gonna lie, because I don't really have much to do, I still wanna be relatively productive. And uh, that means make TikToks and YouTube videos uh, because I don't really have, or YouTube videos take a lot of brain power, TikToks, TikToks take brain power, actually, now that I think about it. You guys really think, like, that shit is fucking, like, nothing. Obviously, other jobs take way more brain power. And I'm not even calling TikTok a fucking job, because it's not. Anybody who says TikTok's a job, it's not. Especially for me. You know, some influencers, like, who only make money off of that shit, where, like, they're forced to make videos and shit... Then it's a job because then it gets like really fucking oh don't mind me with my princess dresses <laughs> and i'm also like getting naked in front of you guys i don't like that um but why am i doing that on camera i just realized what i was doing bro Jeez. okay anyways um what were we talking about some people need um to make bread from their like stuff versus for me, it's like not as, not as much as of a like stress. So like I could go off TikTok for like a month, but I genuinely like making TikToks. It's fucking fun. It's really fucking fun actually. Which is probably why I'm good at it, because I have fun doing it. Versus, like, some influencers, like, they fall off. And there was a period of time where, like, I didn't want to make TikToks anymore. So, like, I just stopped making them for a little bit. It wasn't a crazy period of time. It was, like, a week or something. Um, I need to make sure you guys don't see the mirror so you don't see my booty. Um, but, yeah. Like, I like making TikToks. It's fun. And I like making YouTube videos because I like teaching you guys the shit that I love doing every single day. So, I'll probably just have some fucking fun while I wait and go eat dinner. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no, no, no. Boys, I just realized I didn't even end the video, so I came out to end the video. Day four or day, f yeah, day four complete. Not much of a crazy day for us. Pretty fucking short, actually. But sometimes the short days, sometimes size doesn't matter. That's the message for today. There's been a message in every single video except for today. Today's message, size doesn't matter. Oh, we actually talked about that in the mastermind when someone was like, oh, well, what happens if one fair value gap is bigger than another one? Does it matter more? And I was like, dude, it's just like a dick. The girl cares about what's inside, what's inside the price range. 
What's, what lies within the price range? An imbalance. And that's what price is seeking. That's what price wants. They don't care about the size. They don't care about how big it is. They're just seeking, yearning, wanting that imbalance of price. And then when they get it, it's like they're complete. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Size doesn't matter. Um, listen to this part. Could you guys hear that? It's kind of scary. Um, what else? How else can we make this educational? Let's think. Let me think about this for a second. How else can I make you guys learn from this? Hmm. Let me just sit down and talk with you guys for a second. Daryl's good. It's currently eight o'clock and I'm literally like going to bed right now. This is the thing, like you guys probably see me Fuck, sorry. You guys probably see me and think, wow. What a crazy, awesome, insane life this guy lives. Which is true. There are, I, it has its moments, like today, where I was able to go to the beach and do nothing for like two hours. Pretty solid. Got some sun in, tanned, swam in the ocean walked on the beach it was pretty awesome um and then there's also moments where i know for a fact a lot of you guys would hate my life and i'm definitely not and that's the thing I, there's some people on the internet where who are like you don't understand how hard my job is bruh like stop complaining it's your fucking job i'm kind of like that obviously like i've been complaining but it's just my, you guys are my, my venting, my ventilation, um, you know, but yeah, I feel like there's definitely a lot in my life where if I were to try and put you guys through it, you would fucking hate it. So it's kind of a double edged sword when you think about it, like you think, yeah, I want to be profitable or yeah. I want to run a bunch of businesses. You got to know what comes with that. Obviously, money comes with that. But the saying holds fucking true. More money, a lot more problems. And am I complaining about that? Hell no. Am I ready for those problems? Hell yeah. Some problems I'm not ready for. And then I got to figure it the fuck out. And that's just what happens bro um you know in order to make a hundred thousand dollars you got to lose ten thousand dollars in order to make a million dollars you got to lose a hundred thousand dollars in order to make ten million dollars you got to lose a million dollars there's lots of losses in winning and there's also lots of sacrifices that you have to make when deciding the type of life that you want to live it's really like okay how many sacrifices do i want to make bro if you think about some of the people who make the most who who make the most amount of money in the world their lives are really stressful and they have to make a shit ton of sacrifices they sacrifice family they sacrifice literally like free time doing shit that like most people would love to do they sacrifice bro like a shit ton of stuff really can't like a bunch of time like their entire their entire life is centered around work really if you think about it obviously they have like their little vices throughout but their problems there's a lot of them and it's because they're making a bunch of money so making a bunch of money it is cool but like literally some people i i tell this to people like you should you should either want to be on two sides of the spectrum you either want to be like a nomad who doesn't care about money at all and just 
goes and runs away to like Hawaii and lives in hostels or like sleeps in a hammock because you just love nature and you just love living. The people that fucking love living and like don't give a fuck about, like let's be honest, why do people want money like materialistic things? You know, like technically if you genuinely love life, you can get by with like not making shit. Like being 100% honest, like if you genuinely love life, you genuinely, bro, literally buy a ticket to Hawaii, sleep in a fucking hammock, and fucking do odd jobs to feed yourself and like maybe to pay for like a fucking cot so you can just fucking ride the wave, okay? It's like either that or you want to make a bunch of money because you want financial freedom or you want a cool watch or a cool car or you want to be able to buy your mom a house or you want to be able to, I don't know, buy your dad a cool car. And it, both people, act, they love their life. I fucking love my life. I love it. There's obviously problems that comes with it, okay? But everybody's life has fucking problems. We all know that. Everybody's life has fucking problems, okay? So there's going to be problems on both sides of the spectrum, but what do we know about both sides of the spectrum? Most people on both sides of the spectrum, nomad or bag chaser, they love their life. And what do we know about the majority of people in between? They hate their life for the most part. And I would like to say that 95% of people not necessarily hate their life, but they don't enjoy a significant amount of their life. So if that's you, figure out what you're gonna do about it. Figure out how you can start loving life. And honestly, for some people on this end, some, like, I think most nomads, like, the majority of, like, nomad people who are just like, fuck it, live in the hammock, ride the fucking wave, I live to, I live to live, bro. Like, those people are genuinely just fucking happy-ass jits. There are some people who make a shit ton of money who aren't happy because they keep trying to fill their life with materialistic things, and that's not how you become happy. Um... You kind of have to find it within yourself. Talk to God. Um, so maybe that can help with your decision. If you're like, I don't like my life. And if I had a Lambo, I would be much happier. It's not the case. Find happiness within yourself and then figure out what route you want to go. Because if you can't find happiness within yourself, you won't be happy just riding the fucking wave because the people who just ride the fucking wave, they love themselves and they love their life. And then the people who are like bag chasers, they're super fucking stressed and they have a lot of shit going on, but they have like everything that most people say that they want, but what happens if they're not happy? Like what happens when you are crying in a fucking Lambo? Life isn't that great. So I guess the moral of this story kind of took a bunch of twists and turns is find happiness within yourself and then decide what's so the, because that's the thing like if you can find happiness within yourself within your like within this area you're still probably going to be slightly unsatisfied versus if you find happiness within yourself on both of these ends life is good life is really fucking good Okay, but like in here, you're just really fucking average. I don't know. Just my two cents on it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I appreciate you guys. Yap my ass off. Time to go to bed. Peace out. I love you guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow.